Hello everyone, it's Justin here from Meridian Vocational College. We're looking at uh, how to prepare seafood dishes. Okay, so this unit I wanted to focus on section 3 in your learning guide. Okay, so page 29, how to portion and how to prepare seafood. I wanted to focus on how we can actually store seafood safely. Okay, so often I get a, a question asked by many students is, if we have a frozen product, Let's say we're using frozen squid, and I need to cook that yesterday. Uh, I need to cook that uh, tomorrow. What's going to be the best way to thaw? Okay, that's the term that we use. So we want to do this overnight in the fridge between one and two degrees. Okay, so always think that we want to avoid keeping seafood in the temperature danger zone. We never put our seafood into a sink and we run hot water over the top. Okay, so the outside of the fish starts to cook, well internally it's still frozen. Always be mindful about using a microwave as well. Okay, so microwave has very high power, high heat, and for a delicate uh, flesh of fish, this starts to actually start cooking. Um, we also need to be mindful that we don't want to leave fish just on a bench overnight to thaw, to defrost because again this is keeping it in the temperature danger zone. We always want to think safety first, safety for our customers, avoid uh, keeping food in the temperature danger zone. When it comes to seafood, fish, fish whether it be fresh, whether it be frozen, um, it has, if it's unprocessed, it has a very delicate flesh and subtle flavour. So if we handle fish roughly then we're taking away and we're actually uh, destroying these qualities. Many seafood recipes the basic prep preparation is used so we want to use simple methods of cookery to enhance uh, rather than mask a seafood's flavour, aroma and the appearance. Always keep that in mind when, you, when you're working with seafood. Let's look at a few key points here in this section. Today fish rarely is sold um, whole um, without, with, without being cleaned down. So what I mean cleaned down is, is with the guts um, and the gills still intact. These are usually um, prepared and cleaned on a boat or at the market or by the wholesaler. Okay, so most establishments they will purchase partially or totally clean uh, fish. This is cheaper, this is faster and this is easier. While seafood is often purchased cleaned, there are many situations in which you will need to do this yourself. This is a really important skill to have as a chef and as a student learning how to prepare a whole different variety of, of fishes and seafood. Let's look at this example here of a whole kingfish. Okay, so if that whole kingfish, um, which has just been uh, gutted and the scale is removed, um, this is served, uh, sold there at $22 a kilo, as opposed to a fillet of kingfish being $42 a kilo. But then you have to weigh up. If you purchase that whole fish to clean down, yourself, then you need to think about how much of that fish, how much is going to go to wastage. Okay, so for example, if you're purchasing a whole salmon, then it's very difficult to use those bones because you can't make a stock. This is an oily fish. Kingfish, on the other hand, if you clean down and if you buy, purchase this actually as a whole fish, then you, put, then you clean it down into different um, cuts, whether it be the supreme or the fillet, um, then you can actually use those bones and make a really nice, clear, um, gelatinous fish stock. Okay, so it's really important that you think about your restaurant or your cafe and your, your team there. Okay, so it takes time to clean down fish. You want to make sure that your staff um, and your your team are skilled in cleaning down fish uh, correctly. You don't want to have a lot of wastage. Again, fishes can be quite an expensive product. 
there are different ways that we can actually prepare fish and they're in different categories. So gutting, scaling and cleaning fish are often done there at the, at the fish market. Or you can ask your fishmonger, um, I would like to purchase a whole fish but for an extra $10 can you please clean, gut and scale the fish for me. Often when you get your fish into the restaurant, what you can do is you can be doing filleting, skinning and you can take the pin bone removal. What you're going to be learning in this section as well is preparation of shellfish. Okay, so the three main categories there are shelling, slicing and cleaning. Okay, ready for cooking, ready for presentation. I'll give you an example of a very common cut from a fish that you'll see at the uh, fish market. And this has got to be one that you'll be completing for your pan fried fish uh, recipe. So this is actually uh, uh, the fillet. The fillet is a long piece of boneless flesh removed completely from the spine of a round or flat fish. Some of these, uh, some fish are small enough to be served whole, while the fish uh, fillets from large fish require cutting into individual portions. Okay, so. This is actually on page 34 of your learner guide, top left hand section. You can see that this is a demonstration there and, and a picture showing you how um, a fillet is cut away from, from the side of the, uh, the fish. Common fish uh, varieties that you'll be able to purchase a fillet is Tommy Ruff, Mullet, um, you can even purchase the, the salmon and you can cook this as a large whole um, fillet for friends and family at home. Let's look at, on page 37, let's look at the Supreme, which is a very another, uh, another very common um, cut that you'll be able to see at a fish shop. So page 37, right in the middle, the fillet from a large fish can be cut at an acute slight uh, angle into boneless portions. This is sometimes also called the pavé. A medallion cut is prepared the same as a supreme but trimmed further to form an oval or a round shape. Okay, some common fish that you see cut into the supreme are snapper, mulloway and salmon. Let's have a look now at page, page uh, 40. I'm going to give you an example about cleaning um, and preparing squid or calamari. First step, what we can do is when we purchase a uh, whole squid, we need to make sure that we clean these down. Okay, so what we can do is we actually take that whole squid and we put our fingers there, right where the eyes are, and we just twist and pull away. This is pulling away the internal organs from what we call the hood, um, of the of the squid, okay, or the squid tube. The next step, we want to retain uh, the actual tentacles. So what we do is we do a very small cut uh, between the eyes and the back of the um, right at the back of the tentacles, and cut right down through the eyes, the head there. That's wastage, okay. So we can't use that, but there's a lot of great flavour. Um, and texture in the tentacles, so we can fry those up, we can pan fry, deep fry, shallow fry. Really nice. Step three, we need to put our fingers right under the hood and we need to twist and we're going to remove this clear um, actual quill membrane from the body. We can add a little bit of salt to our fingers to help us add a little bit of a grip. Then what we can do is actually push this hood inside out and we want to just with our knife carefully clean down make sure that there's no uh, internal organs left into the squid then what we can do is cut that and butterfly that open on our blue chopping board and we can slice and we do what's called the pineapple cut slicing with a sharp knife because when we cook that squid and we cut that down into smaller pieces to cook it will curl up and cook evenly